Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Breath of the Wild. My name is Potato Chief and it's been a little while since I've recorded. Uh, so welcome to episode 16. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the best of funny montage that I just put up a couple of days ago. Uh, it took me actually a bit longer than I was expecting it to. And it's only from the first three parts of the series, which is kind of crazy, so I could probably get a couple of those out, which would be nice. Okay. Oh, cool. So I didn't actually know how to do these before, so I've actually figured out these puzzles recently. There you go. That! Boom! Perfect. Right in... Right there. You found me! Yeah! I got one whole seed. So, I mean, this game is phenomenal. Uh, absolutely love this game. I actually like I've completed the story and I'm still playing it on my other account. So it's crazy! I completed the story, but I'm still going around finding shrines, finding seeds, getting shot out. What the fuck? Who's shooting me? I'm not even sure we're gonna make it up this ridge. It's a bit high, but I want to see what's up here. That's the thing about this game, you can get distracted by shit like that. Ooh, I'll take a free hour, thank you. No! Dickhead. Nice shot, though. No! So was, there wasn't really anything up here. Cool. Who's shooting at me? Was it you? I don't think it was him. Was it you, fucking bird? Die for shooting bows at me. Ooh, roll, 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 roll. Cool. We will do some cooking in a bit. Okay. Yay! Yeah. I did it! I'm so smart! Okay. So, are you guys enjoying the series or, uh. Would you let me. I don't know. Look at see, would you let me do something different? But I'm not really. It's not really anything else I want to do, really. I, like, I really enjoy the series. I, I'm loving the series myself. I want to get some free arrows, but we won't climb it. God damn it! I'll leave it for now. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna head into Kokoro Village, finally! I'm excited! So, you know, it's been, this is a different recording session from the last few episodes. And I'm probably only gonna record one episode because I've literally got no time. So, you know, it's, it's personal life stuff. I mean. I like to be kind of open with you guys anyway. I just, I just got family visiting from Australia, so that, that's the honest answer. So I haven't really got much time to record stuff. So I found 20 minutes to record, and I was like, okay, I've got 20 minutes to record. Let's record for 20 minutes. So, I mean, like, that's a, that's a Zelda episode right there. So, you know. Boom. Uh, yeah, if you're wondering how I know all these puzzles, it's because I've done them all before. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. You there! Who are you? How dare you trespass on Lady Impa's abode? Hmm? Is that a Sheikah Slate? But that would mean you are... No, isn't that's not possible. It can't be. You're John Cena! Boop, boop, boop. No, that, that joke's so old. Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course we hear the legends from the Lady Empire itself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. So, that's an interesting... I, when I played this, I'm not, I'm not sure if I just skipped these guys, or... It might have been the fact that I... did it in the rain. So, in the rain, maybe those guys ain't protected it. What's up, babe? A man! Sup, baby? Like what you see? Huh? Is that a, a penis? No, 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 it's a secret slate. Cool. K 
Can't you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? Le Le um Quilt? No, not Quilt. Oh, it's not that I forgot. I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is Pa 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 Her name is Pyre. She is cute as fuck, to be fair. Phew. I gotta get her out. I know I should be able to say you easily, seeing as how is my own name and all. Okay. I'm so sorry! Anyway, Grandma's been waiting for you, Viratid, since I was little. Please hurry inside. She's so cute! No, you're cute. Hey, it's alright. Anyway, now I'm going to kill you in cold blood. <laughs> Calm down! How dare you be so cute, I'm gonna have to kill you! Sup, bitch! I'm back! So, you're finally awake. Yeah, sorry, I overslept. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but you nope. remember me, don't you? I personally remember you because I've done this before, but the character Link in this one doesn't. Uh, oh. What's the matter? You're looking at me as though I'm a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the, lack, the light of familiarity. It is, I courageous one, Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. So I don't understand why she has voice acting for like two seconds and then suddenly stops having voice back acting. I don't understand. Oh. I see. So you have lost your memory. Oh. You lost your memory you have? Well, it is a matter not. In fact, there may be an actual be a blessing in disguise at this time being. Dearest Link, please come closer. Come closer. Closer. Come closer. Closer. Okay. There is another sky orca. A hundred years ago. Yes, a hundred years ago. The kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. Yeah, we know. Everything happened a hundred years ago for some reason. Nothing really happened in between those times. After you fell, Princess Zelda finally wishes... The place was escaped, remember? But then, all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to no relief to meet her fate, she entrusted me with some, some words she wished to say to you. I have been waiting a hundred years to deliver this princess's message. However, these words which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you are here to hear them. You must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I'm afraid to that abandon you with the bear still within those memories. I'll leave you a choice to you. Would you feel that like you are ready to receive the princess's message returned to me? Um do 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 Open the door. I have been on a long quest! I will now prepare for your message. The words the princess risked to, to impact on you. I'm going to pass them on to someone who lacks conviction. Are you re Yes, I am ready. <laughs> ha! Good. Not a memory to your name, yet you are intent as, as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed a bit! Once a hero, always a hero. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I shall recount to you all that happened. Long ago, this all happened. Hmm. And story time. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. 
This evil has returned. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. And a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. Um, oh, not cool story, Grandma. Cool story. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. Ooh. So Why is she so big? Why is the princess so big? She's bigger than like four guardians combined. He's a big princess. Is that supposed to be yes on the right? Because it looks like Ganon. Hyrule was then blossomed. Look at my doodles! Advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed Ooh. little threat to the dead. Tapestry. Hyrule Castle. Wise to utilize their technological prowess Ooh. to ensure the safety of the land. Should Calamity Ganon ever return. There's a lot of towers. They constructed four the four Pokemans. So in the previous episode, I did ask you guys which ones I should go for first. As no one replied, I'm going to decide myself, I guess. Um, I mean, they recommend going to the water one first. Which, you know, it's a good shout, actually. I might go for the water one first. Exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to move. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the war one first because it's got the most useful power from do. Uh, you get the most uh, useful item from doing it. So I think the war one makes the most sense to do first. Calamity Ganon. On Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule. Okay, his ass story. And the hero fought alongside these four champions against this. So that supposed to be me on the right because it looked more like Ganon. With the ginger beard the or Seamus were tasked with protecting the hero as the divine beasts unleashed a furious attack upon Ooh. the terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow. The princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. Ooh. That was my toe clicking if you hear that. I just did a click. So there's four divine beasts. You know, I want to do the cat of the, the... The elephant. I think it's the elephant. But I'll maybe leave it to you guys. Uh... Hang on, I'm just gonna finish reading up this. So, hang on. A hundred years ago, in preparation for what I've foretold, Ravel of the Ganon, we've strode the following lead into the. Oh yeah, okay. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. Despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making a great mistake again, the princess left these words: "Suck my dick." Free the four divine beasts. That's what she said. Four divine beasts, huh? The four divine beasts are ancient secret beer weapons, wielded with the power of a champion. Who can defeat defeated? The divine beasts, controlled by Druka of the Gorons. The divine beast Vamudora, controlled by Ravala of the Ruto. The divine beast of Va Ruto. Controlled by Mifin the Zora. And the fine beast, Van Norbos. Controlled by Uberos of the Gerardo. Oh. <coughs> it would be exactly extremely uh, ill uh, advised to face Ganon without the power of the divine beast to help you. Yeah, Smash Fiend. She thinks you're an idiot for going there first. I, I don't think you are. I think you're a ballsy bastard, but I wouldn't take on Ganon about the Divine Beasts either. You must infiltrate the Divine Beasts that were stolen from Ganon 100 years ago on, and bring them back to our sides. More information about the Divine Beasts can be found at your local library. Okay, thanks.
Ooh. Okay, guys. What I'm gonna do? Well, I'll let, let me. Okay, so free the divide beast. We got four divide beasts. We got, I'm gonna go in a little bit of detail in a second. Just give me a sec. It seems to be that you have a Sheikah slate. It's not yet complete. The device left to you is a guide also your memory. Now let me see. Someone in the research lab Hindu village might be able to help you. Hindu village. Ah, okay. Cool. Actually, that is a useful thing to do. There's a small village. Okay. Cool. That's a good side mission to do. You know, but it's the only hope of the high rule as well. And you cannot back down now! Follow your heart! Seize your destiny! Okay, guys. Finally get to talk about this now. Okay, so. Yeah, I haven't locked that ability on the secret slate yet. Okay. I'll save it in a minute. What was I trying to do? Divine Beasts. Okay, so we got. Four Divine Beasts. The Divine Beast Van Vandera, piloted by Duroku of the Gorons. Van Mordo, piloted by. Well, anyway, those, those are the four Divine Beasts. I will have a straw poll in the description which one you think I should go for first. I personally want to do the water one, but. So, I mean, if it's a tie or no votes, I'll go for the water one. It's as simple as that. For the Zora, I'll go for the Zora one. Uh, Beast Van Norbalos. But if you guys highly change your mind and want me to do one in a different order, message below. Hello, Pyre. Ah, you ran into me, you scrap. Uh, there's also a shrine up there, so let's go do that. So in the next episode, I will tally up the results of the straw poll and we'll continue from there. So there we go. That, I'm going to give you guys a couple of days to vote. I might do that side quest while you guys vote. That might be giving you even a bit longer. So that what the fuck? What's that little kid doing? Fuck you. Okay. So it's almost the end of the episode. How many rubies? I've got 58 rubies. There's a, there's a uh, fairy fountain up here. I'm just gonna. Oh hello. Would have to run out of stamina now. I would have liked to have caught that. I would like to get this fairy fountain. I don't think I got enough. I think it's a hundred for the first fairy fountain. Fairies. Catch some fairies. Fairies are really useful because if I die, they bring me back to life. There we go. Like fairies always do in Zelda games. You don't need a bottle to keep them this time. You, you can cook them. Boy! Sweet boy! Please! Listen to my story! Show it up. I am the great fairy Kotoa! This place is once was a beautiful spring. But as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has invited me. I'm nearly powerless, so I beg you for money. Also, sponsor me on Patreon. I need 100 rupees. I would love to give you 100 rupees, but I've only got 58. So, uh. Oh, here you go. That's not enough rupees. Come back where you can sponsor me on Patreon. Okay, cool. So, in the next episode, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this shrine down. We're gonna buy that fairy fountain. How we doing for time? Yeah, we've got about a minute to go. What I'm gonna do, let's go to the shop and sell some shit. In the next episode, we'll start at the fairy fountain, and we'll end. This with the shrine. We'll not even end with the shrine. I'll, I'll do the shrine. One of these has got to be a shop, right? This is a shop. 
Put my legs. Sir. Hey. Buy my shit. I said buy my shit. I want to sell. One opal should do it. Boom. Lol. Lol. There we go. So there we go. That's all. So the episode is done. We're gonna do a couple of side questy things in the next episode. Buy items. Maybe buy some new. Ooh. Fire hours. Sweet. Regular hours. Sweet. Anyway. Probably buy some items. Open up the fairy fountain. Get that shrine. Go do a couple of cool shit in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a fun episode. Uh, don't feel like we've done. We've done quite a bit actually. I was gonna say don't feel like we've done much, but we've done a little. We've done a little bit. We flitted with, with Pyre. Tried to murder Pyre. I think it's Pyre in it. And uh, we talked to Impa, and Impa told us her backstory. We talked to. There's a lot of exposition in this episode. Not much action. I'm sorry about that. But in the next episode, we're gonna do some. We're gonna do this shrine. I can't remember what this shrine is. It's probably a puzzle shrine, so it's gonna be fun. Anyway, tune in next episode to see the Tala Nugi Nug Shrine. Yes. Tune in next time. Oh. Ooh. There it is. Because Jesus Christ is money. <laughs> well, damn, you just said you. <laughs> yeah, of course I did. Well. It's part of the actual thing. Um. Whatever video it was, well, that. they literally went. I don't need crime or whatever because Jesus Christ is my. Well, is what well, they literally that. said. It's just like, well, well, I'm censoring that. <laughs> <laughs>